Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through and... It takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course. Forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. So, off we go then. And it's Dini. Lanzini. Ducore. Kiko Femania. Ducore. Dost. Chalaba. And it's played forward. Capu. Kiko Femania. Foot in. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. And it's Chalaba. Now it's Mariapa. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Oh, Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Weston going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. This is in a low one. But paid to a promising move. Hoists it forward. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Cresswell. Westham to retain the ball, but are seemingly in no rush to break forward. Chalabar. And helps available out wide. And the finish! Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Cleared without complication. And it's Lanzini. Aimed in towards the centre. Antonio hits one. Oh, that's a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Kiko Femania. Hughes just brushed off the ball there. Gets it back. And that is as far as they're going to go. He's got away. And it's Ducore. And here's Dini. It's Dini! That has certainly tested the keeper. Or well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Fredericks. In with the challenge. 
Chalaba. Mariapa. Kapu. Cabasele. Chalaba. That's great strength on the ball. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half time. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Weston head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight cagey game. Not the team any further forward than they were when they started out. So we're already into the second period. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? And here's Dini. Dini gets it out to the wing. He's got options out wide. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Diop demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Dini! Goal! Oh, the skipper has made such an important difference to put them in the lead again, but they can't afford to retreat and defend for the rest of this second half. To do that would invite trouble. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. Fredericks. Rice. Westham still trailing by one, and looking here to take it up a notch after the break. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Mariapa. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. Simple as that. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Antonio cuts it out. Ducore. Rice is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Look, stopping him is imperative. It may not eliminate trouble, but it'll reduce it. Fredericks. Good idea, just poorly executed. Hughes, forward it goes. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Ducore. And here's D. It's Dini! Oh, and that should have been two. Dini really did let them off the hook. They could have wrapped it all up. Out to the right. He gets past his man. The referee's given a throw. So here comes the substitution. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift.
Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Ducore. That's a throw. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's, it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. Look, I think a draw might have been a much fairer result today. It's just that one crucial second-half goal. That's what cost them. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.